Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, Republican of Kentucky, referred to former President Trump as a fading brand, according to a new book published by Washington Post journalists Bob Woodward and Robert Costa, the Lexington Herald Ledger reported. According to their new book, Peril, McConnell reportedly called Trump a fading brand, retired, OTTB, as they say in Kentucky, off the track, thoroughbred. McConnell, often a target of Trump's ire, also reportedly said he saw a trend indicating that the Republican Party was starting to move away from Trumpism, reportedly saying sucking up to Donald Trump is not a strategy that works. The Senate Republican leader also reportedly said that Trump would be at a crossroads if the former president endorsed candidates that he believed would not win. The only place I can see Trump and me actually at loggerheads would be if he gets behind some clown who clearly can't win, McConnell reportedly said, according to a news outlet. To have a chance of getting the Senate back, you have to have the most electable candidates possible. I don't even know, you know, uh, okay, let me, uh, there's a little bit more where they mention some stuff Trump has said about McConnell, but um, I'm not in the business of defending Trump. We, we actually did a video a few days ago mocking him over some of the comments he made about Bush and Cheney, um, but I have to say, I don't think McConnell's statement has any basis in reality. Um, Trump is still very popular with the Republican Party. There's a reason why, even as someone who lost an election, he is still being sought after for a potential attempt to get a non-consecutive second term in 2024. There, there's nothing in any fact-based measurement that is showing that people, at le Republicans at least, are sick of him. You know, and I, it, I, I don't, and you know, when you get to the part where he says, you have to get the most electable candidates possible. It's like, that's like the, um, the what's a good way of saying it? it? It's another one of those like nebulous terms. Like what, what are you really saying? You know, because a lot of the Republicans have very identical positions to each other. You know, you have some that support repeal and replace Obamacare, for example, other ones that just say, get rid of it. But the central idea is similar positions on health care. You have a couple that have some nuanced, different positions on social issues, like a like a Rand Paul, for example. Um, but, you know, he I just hate it when they don't expand on the points they're making. He needs to have uh, support for the most electable candidates possible. Well, what, what what is that based on? Do we have polls that are showing specific people that he doesn't support, don't have a chance of winning? Oh man, it's, but it's really funny that he thinks just because Trump isn't the president anymore, the party is through with him. I mean, he, he's really, and I don't like making these comparisons, but he's pretty much got the same thing Obama has with Democrats, where after they leave office, you still have a bunch of people that like them for whatever reason. So I, I don't think he's going away anytime soon. I think McConnell wants him to go away and he's uh, imposing his viewpoint and trying to see if it can go over reality, which it's not.